you uh, you 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 hit me up and you want to you want to talk about your experience with 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 who? With Western Express. All right, all right. So let's go in and uh, get into it. Jeremy in the building. All right, my man. So you you you've been with a Western Express for about eight months. So let me just let the people know that that the story that he's about to tell is is on his experience with the company. Yours may differ from from his. But uh, Jeremy, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us tell us the story, man. Well, uh, my name is Jeremy Slauson. Uh, I worked at Western Express uh, last year uh, from March to November. Um, it was all right at first. Uh, the freaking training's horrible. Um, I only had two weeks of training, and they threw me in a truck uh, driving solo. It was all right at first. Um, until the middle and then at the end, it was just freaking horrible. So did you start it off with Western Express? Yeah, oh, actually, I, actually, I went to several different companies and all of them, uh, wrongfully terminated me for no reason at all. We'll turn around and touch back on that. All right, so Western Express, though, you, you said that uh, you, you got there and you said that the, the the training was horrible. So go ahead and share with us about, about the training and, and what you didn't like about it. Well, okay, um, because when you're driving a semi, okay, you want to be trained properly on how to back up a trailer, how to make proper turns left and right. Um, and they didn't teach me none of that. None of that at all. You're selling this now. Gabish? I think I got the message. So was that was that because of the of the trainer? I mean what I mean you you and the trainer was 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 out together. I mean didn't I mean I know the trainer is supposed to do his job, but you know, did you kinda like you know, kind of like say, hey, bro, you know, can you give me a little bit more pointers on, on backing up or anything like that? Or did the trainer just 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 it, had you in the seat just to drive and and he did all the backing up? Well, because I told him, I was like, do you can you help me out with this backing stuff? Because I had trouble backing. Um, basically, I had to train myself how to back and stuff because they didn't teach me anything. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that a lot of the stuff that you come to learn on these roads is is self is self taught. Okay. So, I mean, how long you was with how long you was you was with the company for 8 months, so how long you was with the trainer before you you actually went out on your own? Well, the first one was a week, and the second one for half a week. Wow. Okay. And then after those two, or after after those two. No, West no. I'm sorry. For two. I'm sorry. For the first one's for two weeks, and the second one was a half a week, basically. No, no, one and a half weeks. I'm sorry, one and a half weeks basically two and a half weeks okay so we looking at maybe about three to four weeks with two different people basically almost okay. three weeks 
Okay, so out of those out of those two people, obviously it was to the point that you was able to get your own truck after that though, right? Yeah, I wasn't very comfortable though. All right, so so now you're in the truck, you're 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 solo, you still are are you feeling kind of confident that that you're able to you know, perform the task at hand with the with the minimum amount of training that you got with them? <laughs> yes and no, um, because I wish I had at least, at least eight weeks of training. That's about a good... Uh... About a good enough time. I, I'm I'm kind of glad that you that you wanted that that you know that you wanted more training because some people they didn't <laughs> some people don't want that much you know they figure that two three four weeks is good for them. All right, so now you're what are you doing with Western Express? You you doing flatbed? You doing drive in? What, what are you doing? Well, uh, I was doing drive in. Okay. Um, I did the pre-trip. Um, nothing really uh, went wrong because I checked every single bit of the tractor and trailer to make sure it was ready to go. All right. So what what is it now like during the time of you, you know, driving for the company? What's, what's the experience now after you know after you you're on your own you're so low you got your your fleet manager so what's what's the story with you you know we we know that your training experience was questionable so now what's your experience with the company as a whole <laughs> i quit I got fed up with them. Okay, what what led up what led up to you quitting? Well, okay, um, I had four loads. I sent in at four loads. Okay, and um, this is what I was in New Jersey, and I sent in like four loads, and they only paid me three hundred dollars. I should have got paid at least between six hundred and nine hundred dollars. They only paid me three hundred. So, how are you getting paid by? How are you getting paid by percentage or by cent per mile? In mile. Okay, so you you figure mile. All right, so you figuring you should have got paid about nine hundred dollars, but you only got paid three. How many miles did you do within that week to to generate that that settlement? Quite a bit. Okay. Quite a bit. Okay. So how how many miles altogether? You think they that you did considering <laughs> how much they gave you? Right, and I'm guessing about three to four hundred miles, maybe more. I'm not for sure. You, you, you mean, wait, Jeremy, wait, you, 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 you talking about three to 400 miles? Is that it? Is that a day I'm, I'm or not for sure. Oh, okay. 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 Well, let me, let me, let me rephrase the question. Okay. So the load that you was on, how long did it take you to get when you made your pickup to the delivery point? How, how, how many days that you drove to get there? About two to three days. All right, so two to three days. Where did you, where did you pick up the load? Can I help you? Maybe we can help you. We're here to offer you protection. Oh, well, we've got all the protection we need. Oh. oh. Thanks, but no thanks, fellas. Oh. Miller Lite cans have a taste protector lid with a special barrier to block out that metal can taste and lock in that great Pilsner taste. Let's muff the floor with this guy. Oh, thanks. Oh! The taste protector lid from Miller Lite. I'm, I'm not for sure. I mean, it, it's been a while. Um, I, I'm not for sure. I mean, I, I just go to different places. I mean, I'm, 
I, I forget now um, where I was at the point um, because I don't have the paperwork with me um, where I was. And Let me narrow it down then because you, you did mention that you, you dropped off up in PA somewhere, right? Am I, am I right in saying that or was it New Jersey? No, New Jersey. Okay. I picked up... Uh, Okay, so you dropped off in New Jersey. Okay, so you picked up in, you dropped off your, de- well, let me rephrase this. Your delivery was in New Jersey. So, yeah. was your pickup anywhere down south, anywhere middle of the map, Midwest? Uh, was Indiana. You- okay, so your pick- Indiana. So, Indiana. Okay, okay, so Indiana. So you picking up you picked up in Indiana, you dropped off in New Jersey. So and yes. you said it took you three days to to from Indiana. Two to three days, yes. Two to three days? Yes. From two to, Indiana. Two to three yeah, two to three days. Yeah. Okay. Because because no, because you, you got eleven hours a day or eleven eleven hours, I think. Um, because New Jersey, um, I forget how many miles or how many hours that is. Hold on for a second. Give me a second. I think it was Indiana. I don't even remember. All right. So Indiana to New Jersey going across the 80. Well, you could go across the 80. I'm not sure. Uh, Go across the 80, maybe go across the 76. That's about... 11 that's about 10 to 11 hours right there and you said it it took you like three days it, it shouldn't have took you no more than like two, at least, two days oh okay okay two days two days i'm sorry yeah two days yeah okay two days and that's about give or take about 695 miles okay so let's round that up to like 700 miles so we're still on this same settlement right here that you said that you got 300 but you're supposed to get paid more so what so from new so what you got up in new jersey and you quit right then and there because you said that you've been driving for the company for eight months so i'm sure yep. so between the time you started and the time you quit i'm assuming the last paycheck was 300. so that's what you was getting yeah. that that's what you was getting Throughout the time that you was there, like three to four hundred dollar, no. four hundred dollar checks. I mean, what's 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 what, no. what am I missing here? Higher. Okay. Higher. I was I was getting paid higher. Jeremy, I'm I'm kind of confused. I mean, you was so you you saying that you 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 got paid good. You just the last paycheck was just was just awful. So. I mean, throughout the throughout the eight months that you drove in the in the in the last settlement, like what happened between the time that you was there and and the time that you left, and why did you leave? Like, why did you quit? What made you quit? Well, it's not the pay, not the pay only. I have diabetes. I have type two diabetes right now. And I'm also, I have COPD. My DM will, would not let me go home to, for my doctor's appointment at all, whatsoever. That's strange, but continue. Well, I asked him, I was like, twice. I was like, I told him I, I have an eye appointment. Um, because since I'm diabetic, I just want to make sure my eyes are good to drive a commercial motor vehicle because I don't want to kill someone with an 80,000 pound vehicle. No way. I, I wouldn't understand why the, the fleet manager wouldn't accommodate you for that. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's a health issue. That's, that's important. The fleet manager should accommodated you into getting home to make sure that you, nope. you know, that your health, you know, to get your health issues situated. So you, what you nope. say, so, he didn't. so what you're saying is, is that this fleet manager really didn't really, really didn't have no concern for your well-being. No, 
Not at all. Not one bit. He thought the load was more important than my house. Well, a lot of people think that. Let me let me play devil's advocate with you for a second. If if somebody was to ask the fleet manager, what would you think that the fleet manager would say to to your to your to your account of of him not getting you home? What what would you think? He would say he would tell me he would tell you a different story. What's, Guaranteed, he'll tell you a different story than what I would tell you. So, what story you think he would say? Oh, I I try to make or try to have him home as fast as possible. He would say that. No, he didn't. No, he did not. By the sounds, by the sounds of your story, it sounds as though that within the eight months, it was it was kind of cool, but towards the end, when you needed to, you know, get home for your for your health issues, you you feel that's where the problem came in at. At mid mid, like when and towards the middle when I was driving for them, and towards or like. The halfway point on, it started going downhill. All right, so, all right, so at the halfway point, what was we already established the end? So the halfway point, what was going on then? I had two eye appointments. Okay. The first one I scheduled ahead of time, and I told him, I was like, I need to get home because I have an eye appointment, okay? So I missed that one. He purposely made me miss that one. And I was like, okay. I didn't think uh, nothing of it. I was like, okay, this is this is going to be the only time he's going to be doing this. Um, so I drove kept on driving and then like later on i set up uh, i was home for home time and i set up an eye appointment go buy yourself something nice you was at home uh, doing home time yes i was at home so was you able to yes was you able to make the appointment and see the eye doctor while you was all at home before you went back out on the road or no Nope, nope. He would not let me, at all. Sorry to sorry to hear all that happened to you, Jeremy. Man, so you said at the end of the day, you you decided to quit, turn the truck in, and and decided to leave Restaurant Express. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. All right. So did you turn the truck in where they told you to turn the truck in? You 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 didn't have no problem turning the truck back in and everything? Nope. I because when I was in New Jersey, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania wasn't that far away. So I drove to the nearest uh Western Express terminal. Uh I called my DM and I told him I quit, turned in my truck, got a bus ticket home. I just got sick and tired of it. You're doing nice. Here, go buy yourself some new clothes. Jeremy, man, I, I appreciate you uh, coming on and sharing your story with us. Hopefully, the you know the next company that you find would would be more you know, driver focus, you know, I'm, I'm assuming everything that you went through with U.S. is U.S., goddamn, uh, with, with Western Express, you just feel that you, you wasn't being appreciated enough, right? No. I, I just want to say so, or something uh, to all the people that are listening. Don't go to Western Express <laughs> because you're treated like a number not a person and the pay is crap so don't go to western express whatsoever yeah.
back to run the boat, the back of tequila, I mix it all up and I swear that I need none of them in my pocket if it ain't about the water, none of them in my mind if it ain't about the time, none of them in my wrist if it ain't about the time, no raise, none of them, nah, we gon' be fine. There's so many vibes.